A late night feeding frenzy caught on camera. Throngs of rats, a nightly occurrence outside a downtown Vancouver Sky train station. We were like looking down the stairs over there. And we saw just like a bunch of them. Oh, it was kind of gross. I was like, oh shoot, I have to walk down that way. Those are big rats. Those are lots of rats. Norwegian rats and, and roof rats. Right here, we're looking at one rat hole and we're looking at several others. Metro Vancouver's self-proclaimed rat detective says this is a perfect rodent hangout. And we're at a busy station, right? There's going to be food around that's readily available, so there's lots here to allow them to thrive. Exterminators say rats are reproducing at a fast rate across the region. Jan McIntyre is rattled by the number of calls he's been getting. We're getting rat calls in places we never really got that many before. And usually by the time the clients know it, it's an established population. It's not one or two. We're looking at, you know, seven or more. He blames the unseasonably warm weather and a recent ban on rodent poisons on the apparent boom. But this researcher says a lack of data makes it difficult to know for certain. You know, we don't have a system to encourage people to call for that purpose anyway. We'd need to set it up. A reporting system that's existed in Alberta for decades and produced stunning results. And we have a zero tolerance for rats in the province. Alberta, one of just a handful of jurisdictions on the planet considered rat free. You know, if you walk down an alley in Calgary, you wouldn't see rats coming out of a dumpster. A goal unlikely to be achieved in these alleyways anytime soon. With a network of tunnels running across this city, Residents in Vancouver should brace for more rodent run-ins. John Hernandez, CBC News, Vancouver.